Well, confirmed tornado storm slammed parts in Maryland, the impact across the region. Hello, I'm Rick Ritter. And I'm Vic Carter. They came and went very fast, but in the short time, yesterday's storm system created a tornado. That's right, a touchdown in Howard County, leaving behind damage that certainly shows the path of the storm. WJC has a team of reporters covering the storms. Bob Turk has more on the tornado, but let's start, though, with Kimberly Eaton with the damage in Columbia. Kimberly. And Vic, there's still plenty of cleanup to do in this neighborhood. You can see behind us here debris and branches right to the side of the street. But the worst damage is here on this home behind us. You can see a huge tree fell on that house. The surrounding houses virtually untouched. Sounds of cleanup cutting through this Howard County neighborhood Friday. 24 hours after a tornado tore through King's contrivance, bringing down trees and littering branches along way over way. This is like a war zone. A single home took the hardest hit from the storm. A bright red sign now tacked on the front door, declaring it unsafe after a massive tree crashed through the roof, pinning one of the homeowners beneath. She escaped with scrapes, watching as crews sawed and plucked logs out of the house Friday. It was pretty scary. I think I was kind of in shock for the first 30 minutes or so after. Erin Gomez lives next door but was driving nearby when a weather alert came across her phone. I was within a minute of the house, so I just made a U turn and came back. 33 weeks pregnant, she says she ran for the basement minutes ahead of the tornado touching down. It's kind of like it followed me home, and it was probably. Two minutes after my garage door came down, that that tree came down in front of our house. A destructive storm, but with no serious injuries reported, this neighborhood is focused on cleaning up. And back out here live again, quite a bit of damage in this neighborhood, but the path of this tornado, we're told, was actually quite narrow, and the National Weather Service says it was an EF1 tornado. Reporting live in Howard County, I'm Kimberly Eaton for WJZ.